What do you think makes a good ball player? Um, I don't know. You don't know? My uh, starting quarterback from this past season, Tom Brady. What better way to go as a fifth-year senior than the Orange Bowl victory? Super Bowl MVP, Tom Brady. I still feel like I'm the same boy that grew up on Portola Drive in San Mateo. It's just one of those things where you say, how did this happen to this kid from Portola Drive? How did this ever happen? To truly understand the making of Tom Brady, you have to know where he came from and gain insight from the person who knows him best, his father. When did you first see that fire emerge? When we were on the golf course, when he was five or six or seven years of age, we would compete and he would throw his club and I would discipline him and he would promise never to do it again and he would do it the next time. It's in every fiber of his body. Brady grew up in a heavily competitive environment as the youngest of four children, surrounded by three athletically gifted sisters. He also benefited from the support of his entire family and developed the confidence to ignore all the doubters. When he was in high school, he's a pretty slow white guy, and he said, I'm gonna go play college football. Well, while we would never dissuade him from that, we would always be supportive of it because somebody else might take his dream away, but his parents and his sisters will never take it away. While Brady's football hopes appeared unrealistic, he leaned on the close relationship with his father during high school and later college. When he ultimately decided to go to Michigan, frankly, Andrea, it broke my heart. It killed me. I wanted him to go to Cal Berkeley, 35 miles away. I went to a psychologist for two months to get over the fact that I had separation from... Are you serious? Yes. I had separation from my son, who's one of my best friends in the whole world. At virtually every post-game interview that Tommy does, at the end, he says... Tom, thanks for your time. Okay. We appreciate Hi, it. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. What does that mean to you guys? Pretty special, especially to her. They have a wonderful bond. That bond with his parents is closer than ever, especially now that Brady himself is a father. But like any parents, they think about the future. What do you worry about with your son? When the day is over, he will be able to find a passion to replace this passion. We are not finished! We are not finished! No. When you have somebody who loves it as much as he does, that is a concern for his mom and I. Do you discuss that with your son? No, because we don't see that as being an imminent situation. Is there a part of you that says, look, I understand it's a business and it's inevitable one day I may get cut here? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely, yeah, this is, this is the NFL. You know, it's happened to everybody, so why would I not think that would happen to me? Is this Tommy crying wolf, or do you think that this is truly something that he believes? There are no sacred cows in the NFL. If Bill Belichick doesn't want him anymore, then Bill Belichick will get rid of him. But for now, Brady's focus is on the present. This week is what it all comes down to for all of us. And playing in Phoenix on February 1st. He doesn't have a doubt that they're going to get to the Super Bowl. He doesn't have a doubt that they're going to win the Super Bowl. Now, whether or not that happens, that remains to be seen. He's got a never-ending will to succeed and a will to work and to, to do what's necessary to get where he wants to be.